Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to test the RC in power GTS V2 1506 4300 KV motors. In this video I'm going to not very successfully bench test these motors and then head outdoors and test them out. The GTS V2 1506 motor is available in two colors, pink and titanium, and you can also get it in two KV options. The one I'm going to test in this video is the 4300 KV version, which is compatible with 3 and 4S diaper batteries, and you can also get a 3000 KV version, which is compatible with up to 6S diaper batteries. The weight of this motor is 17.03 grams, so it's slightly heavier than the Hobbymate 1505 plus 4300 KV motor, which is also made by RC in power, and weighs around 16.5 grams. In addition, it is using 85mm long, 24 AWG motor wires, and currently it costs $13, which is a pretty good price. The next thing I've done is to bench test this motor using 3 and 4S LiPo batteries, and the reason I mentioned before that I haven't done it successfully is because I forgot that when bench testing the Hobbymate 1505 Plus motor using a 4S LiPo battery in conjunction with the Gemfen 3052 flash propeller, the motor got burnt, and unfortunately the same thing happened to me using this motor, and this was the first propeller that I tested. Having said that, I need to remind you that bench tests are a little bit more harsh than real life, and this motor performed very well using a 4S LiPo battery in conjunction with the Gemfen 3052 flash propellers, so you have nothing to worry about, and if you have these motors, you can safely use these propellers. In terms of performance, I can tell you that the 1506 motor performs very similarly to the 1505 Plus motor. However, I think that the 1505 Plus motor might be a little bit stronger. However, the 1506 motor might be a little bit more efficient. Now, after this short introduction, the next thing I'm going to show you is the bench test and also the build video of the Armatan Japalura 3 inch racing quadcopter, which, as you can see, looks like a small tank. It's a little bit on the heavy side, but still it provides excellent protection for the camera and also the internal parts of the quadcopter. In this build, along with the RC in power GTS V2 1506 motors, I use the Gepper C Stable Pro F7 Mini Tower, which performs great and also makes the building procedure very easy. Now, by the way, in the build video, you're going to see that I used the Cadix SDR2 Plus race camera, which is an excellent micro FD camera, but unfortunately it died in the middle of one of the flights and I crashed the quadcopter and you can see that it's still in one piece. And instead I used the Cadix S2 micro FD camera, which unfortunately I can't recommend because it suffers from some strange artifacts when facing the sun. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.